Good evening team and welcome back. I hope everyone is doing great and I hope you're having a nice evening. So first I'd like to apologize because I made a blunder. I've recorded almost an hour of Dark Souls and silly me, clumsy me, forgot to record it. I don't know, uh, I've been doing this for Dark Souls quite often where I start talking and thinking I'm recording and I am not really. Well the good news is I did not go far away in Dark Souls. I've only opened up this second shortcut and my plan is and my plan was at the time is to to trigger grey not grey rat patches slash Siegvert's quests. And in order to do so, I need to either open up Rosaria's door or open up um, the front gate to the Cathedral of the Deep. Now in order to do so, I need to go up here. And I died three times actually. This is why you are seeing me here and not advancing that much. Although this area seems small, it's quite a bit of a challenge to be to arrive to the second shortcut. That's why, uh, in a sense, I'm kind of glad I did not advance that far. I'll drop from here and continue up. As I continue up, it's filled with these little fellas that are causing all types of mayhem and chaos. Now I died there because I tried to aggro, not these guys. Ah yes, this is exactly what I'm talking about. If you are careless in Dark Souls, if you're not putting your mind into it, these things happen. You see, I know there was an enemy there. And instead of just going and dealing with it, all I did was just, oh no, I'll just go deal with the others first. And I did not aggro the thrall, I did not wait for the other enemies, and the result was immediate death. You see, if you do not take Dark Souls seriously, if you do not consider every enemy in this game as a mini boss or a boss meaning that you need to give them a thought and not just you know attack them without much of thinking like if I didn't go to that enemy and attack him soon if he was in a different position he would probably be attacking me before I even attack him that would stagger me and drain much of my HP same goes for this guy if I did not have a weapon that can three shot him you would become an issue. Now there are different there is a different variety of enemies in Dark Souls. There is these guys who still will kill you if you're not careful. There are the median guys like these fellas who will take a lot to kill and have different sets of attacks and will surprise you if you're not careful like you see. Like this is the kind of correct way to tackle this place. Now come here, this guy's gonna aggro and there you have it, just like that. Much, much easier than the last time. Now, if I'm not careful, this guy will finish me off. It only takes two swings from his halberd for me to die, especially since I'm not kindled. As you can see, there's a lot of thrall enemies and problematic stuff. That guy's gonna die. This is my hope, or this was my hope with this fella right here. But they do navigate the area much, much better than I do. And the result is I aggroed this fella 
and he followed me. I thought I would take him to safety. He followed me, and well, I died because he just attacks without being relentless in his attacks and everything. Now, I still don't want to aggro him, but this time I want to be going this side and hopefully this fella is not going to attack me and this is where I want to go. Oh, great! Did he fell? If he did fell, yay for... Oh, yes, he did. Amazing. And we drop down here and there we have it. This was quite a challenge for me, the first time. I did not even know about this. I, it took me to go to my second playthrough in order to arrive to this particular area. Now these are pushovers, but be careful, they will be arriving in numbers. This should be the way to... Let me amber up. Because I need to. I need to make certain. This should be the way to Rosaria. Yes, I've seen you. Don't worry. I see you. There you go. Bunch of them arrive. As you can see, they will quickly become a mob. They can deal nasty attacks like this. No, they do not take too much of your HP, but they will distract you enough to be a problem. Now, this is Rosaria Chamber. This guy is going to give you the red sign. Now, this is a problematic covenant, and this is a crucial area. So, Two ways to advance. Either one, open up this chamber and I will trigger Patch's quest in Firelink, probably. Or, let me try this. Because I do just know these, I do not have a guide or anything. I just kind of know from trial and error. And either I will go and open up the front doors and hope that if I come here, I will be able to trigger patches again like if I come back to reload this area come back here I should be able to trigger patches but I think not I'm not certain now in order to do so I need to open these doors these ones and go back to Siegvert now, after opening this, he should be in the well because he was tricked by patches and he stole his armor. Oh yeah, I should probably open up that shortcut after dealing with this fella. If I had enough stamina, I'd be stagger him until he dies, but... I do not have enough stamina, so I'll just do that. There's a small shortcut here. And a shield. Curse Ward shield. And a shortcut. That I would probably be wise to open up. Because this is going to give us direct access to a shortcut. So, if I go this way... I can gain access to the bonfire. This is a familiar area. We've been here in previous episodes. Uh, you can tell. And to go back to the bonfire, all I need to do is just run straight down here. Now let me check. Let me check. No, maybe I need to reload. And I will do just that. Hopefully, I'm doing this correct. And the reason I'm doing all of these things is because I want 
to finish up Grey Rat's quest. I always miss up on that quest. On my playthroughs, I send him back on the second time, and nothing happens. Like nothing happened now. I must have done something wrong. So here's the other thing I can do. Go back to Firelink, go to the bell tower, and hope that Patches is going to be there, or is going to trigger there. We'll see. After all, we are here to discover, and I did say I hope I will finish up Patches' quest. I mean, Grey Rat's quest. Patches is going to be appearing there, or all the way to the other side and so I need to trigger patches to come to Firelink that's number one number two is to advance in Siegvert's quest and then when I arrive at Irithyll I would have Siegvert's quest advanced good enough and then if I'm did or if I do if I did these things correctly, I could be sending Greywart for the third time to the High Wall of Lothric. Ah, there we go. And that's the Patches trigger. You can hear him closing the door on us. That's no problem. It's no problem at all. <laughs> Sorry, friend. Be more careful. By the gods, curiosity is going to kill you, kittens. Some places are better left alone, you know. Oh, sorry. Am I a tad too late? <laughs> Have Don't worry, sorry. buddy. You're surrounded by ladies. Every man's dream, right? <laughs> oh, no matter. I'll look after things by stripping every last trinket off your corpse. <laughs> oh, no matter. But you're gonna. <laughs> a lucky customer. Matters not. Do not worry, Patches. I know the way. I know the way back to safety because I've did this before. I like you. This is where we find the Estus Ring and the Master here. It's been a while since I've been here. Always nice to come back. I killed those because why the hell not? Speaking of which, where did I die last time? Did I not recover my... I think... Oh yes, yes, yes. I died twice. I, f I forgot. I died twice, twice, thus losing... My... Souls. I had 30k. Which the is a Poor bugger. wretched souls. Be they lord or legend, the curse shows no mercy. What a sham. The poor be the water. It's funny. It's actually the first time I ever encounter the crestfallen, aka the crestfallen warrior here. Oh yeah, this is the first time. I can't remember any time I has been here. I remember just him no longer being in this place, and I've never really searched for him until ultimately he sent us a dual quest and that's the end of him. You can summon him as an NPC in a fight, but that's about it. Ah. Uh -huh. As I'm here, let me purchase one. Thank you. Just one. Anything new? No, but I do have Gracious Humble Bash. Either. So what new things do you have for us? Oh yes, Lloyd's Shield Ring. Ashen one. So we do have the 
sword ring which boosts damage and the shield one health is uh, complete and the shield ring boosts dam uh, defense uh, when the uh, reinforce yes that's a plus two plus two is good enough can I infuse though Oh, I think it's already infused, so I cannot infuse it. Heavy, sharp, refined, gold, fire, poison. Not good enough. A lot of this. Uh, I don't need it right now. Reinforce this. This is already did. Uh, I'll to you. Everything is going my way. Before I continue, let me. Go to Mr. Guy here. Oh, I... Then shall we bet soon? Draw more strength. Thank you. Be safe. Champion of Ash. He will give us five free levels and I will take it. Although I am not going in the quest of uh, becoming a hollow. I've done it twice already. The hollow build is, is an amazing build, but this time I'm not going that way. Still, five free levels, I'll take them. Now that I... oh yes, I forgot about... Uh, I forgot about patches. No matter. Hopefully right now, since I've got patches, Siegvert is going to be stuck in the well here. Hello? There we have Hello? it. Anyone there? Yes, Any I'm here. Oh, I know that voice. Just how long has it been? It's me, Siegfried of Katarina. I know you are. I'm to admit it, but I've been had. Someone's swiped my armor. Did you happen to it anywhere? Oh. Not to worry, an old tenant of the Knights of Cal So in order to advance with, with his quests, I need to go and buy the Katarina armor from Dumb Patches. And hopefully, I think I do have enough. I should. Let me use up my items. Use selected. Yes. I think I do have enough in order to buy his item and perhaps level up. Which is gonna be good. Yes. These give a lot of souls. There they go. 4k. Good for me. Also these give a lot of souls. Yes. Another 4k. Amazing. We got five of these. Yes. 16,000. Not that big of a deal. Since I've got. Oh, I did had 30, 30k. Kinda hurt. Meaning I need to do some farming in order to level up. But I will do though in the next. Uh, Later, when we arrive at the Farron. When you arrive at the Farron's uh, keep, I'll do some farming. Anyway, there's a wraith there that I will kill for some items. So it will serve a double edged sword. <laughs> it will serve a double purpose. Um, one is to farm swords and two to get some items, and maybe armor, and maybe gear. 19k should be enough. But well, you're back here. Cool. The undead legion of Farron is a caravan of undead, sworn by Caravan's blood to contain the abyss. The legion will bury a kingdom at the first sign of exposure. Joyous bunch, really. Gaining admission to the Legion is a matter of some ceremony. 
Inside their keep, snuffing out the flames of three altars, opens the door to the wolf blood. Even a cursed undead want to believe they're special, it seems. I pity the sorry souls. <laughs> uh, mind you, that is part of this uh, Watchers of the Abyss, guys. So he's as competent as them. He even has the armor and the sword. So make no mistake, this guy is no pushover. Now, now, it's time to go to our car to our eternal friend, Patches, the Unbreakable. And we're gonna come upon this title, Unbreakable, later. There's gonna, uh, there's gonna be an explanation to why. Uh, you're alive. Now, hold your horses. Let's have a nice talk about this. I'll oh, come clean. I did you wrong. I didn't mean it though. Not one bit. You get these urges running the business and all, and, and I, oh, I, I hate myself for it. I do. You know what I mean. Terrible, really. But I can see you'll forgive me. You're alive, after all. And that's what counts, right? Of course I forgive him. It's Patches. He'll do us again. If he gets the chance, and he oh, will have the chance, oh, but he will do this again. I, I knew you'd understand. I, I just knew it. The heart of a lion, a model for the rest of us. <laughs> ah, Bad I see you, mate. We ran. The slinking. I rodent. did indeed. But he did me a good turn back in Lothric Dungeon. Doubtless I should do something about that little dead. Well, maybe not. Well. I can hardly believe he's still standing. <laughs> ah, I <must> step. <laughs> Good. So there are two ways to advance in Grey Rat's quest. Either with Patches or Siegvert. One of them is going to have to save Grey Rat. And I would rather it being... It's not clear because this fella have the Katarina armor and he said Grey Rat after being saved he will tell you that it's a an onion knight that saved him onion shaped knight that's the uh, reference to the Katarina armor or the helm in precise so yeah it could be actually so here's the deal if we first meet Patches in the Cathedral of the Deep if we do things right he will be kind of like uh, talking like uh, Siegvert and everything and he will give us problems there he will uh, have a trap there so that's kind of a reference to maybe it's not Siegvert that saved Grey Rat it was actually Patches especially since he owes him so yeah three four I hope I can or I hope I have what it, I do. Thank goodness. I think I have just ah, the <laughs> ah, the step. <laughs> Thanks. I make certain that I've exhausted his dialogue. And now we go back to Siegvert and we save him. Giving him back his armor means that he will be back. Uh, he will advance. And the next time we will meet him is gonna be in Irithil, where we'll be cooking us some delicious soup. But yeah, nevertheless, I'm vigilant, and I will advance in both their quests. Siegvert and Patches. This way, Grey Rat is gonna have a double chance of being saved. But maybe I can fashion a replacement from uh, I've got <laughs> for nothing. Don't worry, here's your armor. Oh my armor My deepest gratitude. I'm Siegfried of Katarina, sir. With my trusty suit of armor, I'll be out of here in a jiffy. 
Until we meet again, comrade. <laughs> we <Rejoice>. don't. <laughs> <Huh? laughs> there we go. And that's. With this part, it's finished. We finished Grey Rat. No, I mean Patches. And we finished. Siegvert's quest. Now here's the deal. I can go and uh, access the Ashes of Ariandel quest or DLC. But that would be suicide. Considering my current level, it's complete suicide. I mean, even if I do make it to Sister Frida, oh man, it's gonna be such a big problem that boss fight is one of my best boss fights and it's one of my most difficult boss fights and arriving like this although the temptation of new armor and new gear kind of you know tickles me i still will perish a lot there nevertheless i will leave this to you guys probably if anyone is watching this video and you would want me to go to the DLC, I will do so. If you want to see me die a lot, <laughs> it's up to you guys. For now, it's time to see, to, for me to say goodbye, and I will see you guys in the next episode, and hopefully I'll do things right next time. So anyway, bye-bye.